So today's video will be about Tame Impala as I picked up their new record, but I've never listened to a song by them or I don't really know much about them, but I watch Anthony Fantano who I like and Vinyl Rewind is another great record, uh, record YouTuber. And they both were given high praise to this album. So I thought, let's pick it up. Let's see if it's any good. So this is 180 gram 2LP limited coloured edition. Which is cool. And I love that art cover. Art cover? Well, yeah. <laughs> I like, it looks like an hourglass. has just smashed and the sands are coming in. But we unbox on this channel. It's not really an unboxing, it's an unwrapping. But... <laughs> Don't complain. So, as per usual, I will cut once I've finished showing it off. And then I will cut in, you know, my reactions, first reactions, having listened to it. Wow, that is a beautiful. So, how? There's the front cover. I love the red and the sand and the blue skies. That is really beautiful. And then, songs on the back. Really, really beautiful. Kevin Parker, that's his name. Um, beautiful gatefold. Oh, so just a nice blue on one side, but I do love that. That is really pretty. And then, come on, out you come. Out you come. There we go. Ooh, that is beautiful and really beautiful album oh the records oh that is a nice nice green like a british racing green you'd see on a jaguar or a mini just that's pretty beautiful i like it when uh bands or artists you know they take pride in their vinyl releases some bands would just release just a, a record it's just sort of there but with Tame Impala, Kevin Parker, it seems to have really... I mean, I don't know whether he made the executive decisions to have it green and this beautiful artwork, but he probably did. And I love that a lot. You know, it just shows they care about their music and they care about what it looks like when it comes out. So, never listened to this album before. I've never listened to any of Kevin Parker's stuff with Tame Impala. Or I don't really know much about them at all. So I'm going to go and listen to this now and give you my first reactions. I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> so, so, Tame Impala, The Slow Rush, First Impressions. I loved this album from start to finish. Now, I'm going to move you down a bit. You have to understand that I've never listened to Tame Impala before, or I've never listened to this type of music before. These sort of sonic, electronic, psychedelic, you know, I've never listened to it. It's not usually my kind of music, you'll know. If you watch any of my other videos, they're mostly on older bands like The Beatles, uh, Linkin Park, The Rolling Stones, uh, you know, Oasis, my favourite band. But this just blew me out of the water. I didn't, ex <laughs> I didn't expect to, you know, love it as much as I did. Um, I got my notes here. <laughs> One More Year, the starting track, has such amazing... It starts with these beautiful distorted vocals. And the great... Great? The beat is great with these lovely grooves. I just... It really blew me away. It's, you know, first listen. Like, wow, this is great. You can tell because of how excited and happy I am. And I will be listening to that again soon. Uh, sort of wavy, washed out synthesizers. And all this sort of synthetic instrumentation that just sort of washes around. I absolutely love it. Um, Borderline sounds... The song Borderline sounds like it's from the 80s, the early 80s sort of sound. And I absolutely love that. That was fantastic. That was just flawless. I use the term flawless a lot. Just superb. Uh, I can't po posthumous, posthumous forgiveness is a really, really great song. I love that one. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Posthumous, posthumous forgiveness was amazing. Just superb. Uh, Brave deeper, the next song. 
has some really superb vocals on it. Absolutely love uh, Kevin Parker's vocals. I, I adore them. I think they were fantastic. Um, Tomorrow's Dust is just fantastic. With this great, it starts with these lovely drums, and then this acoustic, that uh, acoustic guitar leads us into the track. It's just brilliant. I, I love it. Um, on track, it was fantastic. Has these really dreamy uh, vocals with these nice drum. It's the word arpeggios. I don't know. I'm not a music. I'm not like a music critic or someone who understands these you know, uh, the technical terms for everything. So you'll have to excuse me. But I absolutely loved the um, beautiful instrumentals that wash in and out as it sort of winds down and winds back up again. Uh, Lost in Yesterday had a really nice guitar riff in it. Just this superb... I love the guitar that they've used in these songs. Just brilliant. Uh, is it... Is it true? Is it true? Has a really great groove to it, and it sounds like something from the late seventies. You know, well, obviously the production's better than it would be, but it's like has this sort of late seventies, almost disco in a way groove, and I brilliant. That's, I love that. Uh, and then I like the bit where he's talking about how do you make the bass better? You crank it up, which is brilliant. And then the last song, one more hour, has just these fantastic uh almost i don't know what band you could uh i lost my train of thought what band you could compare it to but these sort of heavy guitar riffs that come in and come out and i just think that was brilliant um just all in all a really great album i am i mean so it was such an impact on me being you know new to this whole thing that Probably after I finish filming this, I'm going to go listen to his last album, which came out five years ago, which is supposed to be amazing, because I'm, you know, I want to listen to more music that sounds like this. So if you have any suggestions for artists or bands or whatever that sound like this, then I'm more than happy to take them. I need to get into... I picked this up because I needed to get into new music. Um, my music listening is very stagnant in it, my ways. I have my bands that I love and those are the bands that I usually always listen to <laughs> compared to listening to new music. I don't experience new music that much but obviously this proves that I probably should. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this album. If you did, comment below and let me know what you think of it. And well, take care everyone. I'll see you in the next video.